Hi, I'm Brendan Fisher. I'm the director of the environmental program at the University of Vermont in the Rubenstein School, and we administer the environmental studies degree. I'm going to show you a few slides of what it's like um, to undertake a degree in environmental studies uh, in the Rubenstein School. There'll be text on the screen here behind me, um, and I won't read it line by line. You can pause later and take a closer look. But I just want to give you a general overview. Uh, the environmental program at the University of Vermont is one of the oldest environmental programs in the country. It was founded in 1972. And at its very core, it's about interdisciplinarity. So our faculty teach and do research in fields as diverse as eco-literature um, and media studies through agroecology, economics, and ecology. Uh, and our goal is to try to give students that interdisciplinary approach and understanding of the environment, which we feel is required to, um, to be able to help solve some of our largest environmental problems that we'll be facing. Our required courses for the major, we have two introductory courses kind of setting the stage about environmental challenges and environmental studies. Uh, and our first semester is the introduction and our second semester is the solutions oriented class. We also have an academic planning workshop and that's where students learn to um, navigate the major. They learn about research and internship opportunities, how to join a faculty member's lab, how to do research, how to raise money for funds to continue their, um, their research scholarship and internships. And then we have breadth requirements. So our students have to take a natural science, a social science, an economics class, and a humanities. Again, trying to encapsulate that interdisciplinary approach to solving problems in the environment. And then we have independently designed coursework where students have to take a whole bundle of courses um, from uh, approved environmental courses at the 100 and 200 level. And we really um, stress the importance of research opportunities internships or some culminating capstone experience where the students do a whole bunch of higher level classes in a similar subject area. Say that could be environmental policy, it could be ecology. Rubenstein students who are in the environmental studies program, um, they receive a Bachelor of Science. They take the Rubenstein core courses, uh, which you've heard about in the Admitted Student Visit Day presentations. Uh, and they have to complete 48 credits in the major. And so that's the nine foundational credits. I just talked about the nine breath credits and then a 21 credits of coursework where they design to piece together um, a study where they get an expertise in, in an area and zone that they want. Then they have to complete a capstone, which is a kind of a culminating experience. And that can be a very intensive um, internship. It can be uh, a research experience. In the past, we've had several of our students um, publish their, their research theses in peer-reviewed journals, so holding their science up to the highest level of academic rigor. We have students who have internships at world-class and world-known um, organizations such as the World Wildlife Fund, Ben & Jerry's, um, etc. In the program, we really um, stress the importance of high impact learning. So again, we try to push our students, if they're interested in research, to join a faculty lab um, to do research with faculty who are experts in the area. We try to get our students to think about internships, to get that experience that's outside the classroom, but working directly with a partner, whether that be an NGO or a for-profit business. We also uh, have a lot of opportunities for our students to study abroad and do field-based courses. And then we have a lot of uh, service learning courses uh, and field-based courses such as Birding for Change, where we get our students out interacting with the local elementary schools, landscape natural history. So the students are out all semester looking at land use, land use history, landscape change. And then we have things like agroecology and community-based conservation, where the students are actively involved in local farms, orchards, and conservation initiatives. One of the questions we get most during these student admitted visit days are, um, what do your graduates do? So I have a slide here of just some of our recent graduates, but our graduates do everything and anything. Um, we have the Lieutenant Governor 
and the Secretary of State in Vermont as ENVS alum. We have students uh, in the past few years who have gone on to University of Virginia Law, Stanford Law, Northeastern, um, and we have students who are working in the nonprofit world at places such as um, um, such as the World Wildlife Fund, to students who are working in government. Emily Bird, 2012, is um, at the Vermont Department of Environmental Conservation. And then we have a lot of students that go into the for-profit world working at Lyft, Google, uh, Ben and & Jerry's, and the like. So my final pitch is something I say to the students when I'm there in person, is that I've been involved in eight universities, either as a student, a staff member, or as a faculty member. And UVM is the place that I choose to be. Um, it is an amazing mix of faculty and staff with incredible expertise, uh, world-renowned research, and also incredible teachers in the classroom offering opportunities for our students to engage in research, internships, for-profit, and non-profit worlds. Hope you join us.